Yeah, that was yeah. good. Oh, God, that was... A lot of work for that one. So I guess first question, then. You're a Portland native. I'm not. You're not a Portland native. Never mind, this isn't a question, then, because I thought you were a Portland native. Oh, don't, don't, DA, you can't put that in the interview if I'm not. <laughs> yeah, wh- where are you from, then? Uh, Idaho. Oh, really? It's okay, we're from the Midwest, Minnesota, oh, right. Chicago. Yeah. Every reason I'm from here, so what brought you to Portland, then? Um, well, uh, my job went out of business, and uh, I had a friend who is a Portland native who was moving back, and she had a room open, and I decided I just wanted to get out of town for a while. Um... It wasn't supposed to be like a like a long term move, but then I just kind of stuck around. I've been here for a couple of years now, so I'm right. just working. How did you approach people to say that they should add, add a bass clarinet into their band? Like you were in that smog band for a little while. How do you go about that in the streets? Um, I I guess I just let people see me. Um, for a long time, like I was kind of known as a saxophone player, which has always kind of annoyed me. Um. I mean, like, I play saxophone, but I don't, like, resonate with it. It's mm-hmm. just, it's a thing that I can do. And it's led to some fun gigs, like getting to play in, like, jazz bands and rock bands and things where that's that instrument is necessary. But um, I always got, I know, I feel, like, cast as the saxophone guy. Mm-hmm. Um, and I didn't like that. So um, it, it was hard. It would be a tough sell. Like, I would say, you know, someone would have a project that didn't necessarily need a saxophone. They would bring me in, and I would... Say, you know what else would be cool? Check this out. And they'd be like, oh, yeah, that's that's okay. Why don't you go get your tenor? And no. that was that. That's um, <laughs> but then, I mean, eventually, I guess once I started doing this, and people started seeing me this, then people, instead of me trying to push the instrument on them, they're like, hey, I want that in my band. And um, the, the guys in Smog Boss didn't even know I played saxophone. That I finally got to that point, which was cool. That's excellent, yeah. So you're trying to bring it back. You're trying to be the Arthur Russell of the bass clarinet. <laughs> uh, yeah, that works. I like that comparison. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's flattering to me. No, yeah. Well, you know, I'm enjoying this very much. It's we're, we're still. This is episode two of what we're doing so far. So, no idea the wide variety of people we're going to be getting, and this is fantastic. I'm, I'm really enjoying this. Um, yeah, I had a bunch of other questions, and they're all eluding me right now. Well, oh, yeah. Going. So, that throat singing. Who who inspired you to do that? Oh, yeah, the neck mic um, I blatantly ripped off from a guy named Colin Stetson, who, um, he's been around for a while. Um, he's played with a lot of people. Um, but then, uh, I'm not sure how, he, how he, he finally got known on his own, but he plays a uh, bass saxophone, which mm-hmm. is an even more absurd instrument than I play. It's about, about that tall, um, weighs like 30 or 40 pounds. Um and he will play pieces, you know, where he circular breathes the entire time. He's playing all sorts of like strange noises. He's got mics all over the instrument, picking up um, like key clicks and different sounds, and just the way the instrument, you know, sounds different from different angles, and getting all these strange noises out of it where you wouldn't even know it was a saxophone um, oh, sometimes. Cool. And then he's got, uh, yeah, the, the throat mic, and he sings along. And um, well, what happened is I found an acoustic guitar bottle cap pickup in the couch at work that someone had left after the open mic. And I was like, I wonder what would happen if I stuck that to my neck. And uh, it turns out it kind of works. So I've kind of been rolling with it ever since. Um, That's pretty cool. Yeah. Honestly, I, I don't really think I should look him up. Um, so you have a new album coming out? Um, soon you're working on it. Working on it. So the it. first song is from your new album that is possibly coming out sometime soon and undisclosed. Some time. point in the next, like, Two years, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, no, all the songs that um, I'm playing today are going to be on that new album. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. All right, but the second song is like an older... How long have you been writing music like this? Oh, um, I've been uh, doing this project for... Um, actually, I think it's been two and a half, maybe three years. Um, kind, of, kind of a gradual um, development, I guess. Um like I, I started, I wanted to play bass clarinet in bands more and it's very mm-hmm. difficult next to impossible to mic. Like you can't just put a mic on a stand on it and play in a rock band. No one will hear you. Uh, so I, I bought a pickup and um, that kind of opened up some, some new things. And then I started, you know, messing around with uh, guitar pedals and things and, um, you know, kind of awkwardly built up to the point where I'm doing now where I'm, I'm comfortable with the music I'm playing as like a one man band and it's not... Um, 
I don't know. I'm, I don't want it to come off as like a novelty or, or sound forced in any way. Yeah. I feel like, and I, I, I enjoy watching you seem very comfortable. You got a lot of good movement. Some good go-to moves. Yeah. <laughs> so paper gates, Bill Gates, who do you think will have a longer legacy? Uh, Bill Gates, because people have heard of him. Oh, <laughs> so that's not your long-term goal is to be like the most famous paper gaze. I don't know where I'm going with this. It's yeah. a terrible question. I mean, I might already be the world's most famous bass clarinet player. <laughs> <laughs> it's highly possible. I've heard of you. Yeah. yeah. There you go. All right. Um, you ready to play a few more songs? Sure. All right. Thanks for coming. Mm-hmm.